You're done with your project and now you want to export it in the highest quality to Vimeo and YouTube. So a quick way to change your film from 1920 by 1080 to 4K is to go to the cut page and you see right up here I am working on a 1920 by 1080 timeline. I do this because it takes less effort for my PC uh, to work on a HD timeline instead of a 4K timeline but we want to export the video in 4K so I simply click 4K Ultra HD. The next thing is you always want to mark in at the beginning of your video and you want to mark out at the end of your video. This part is going to export. So now you can go to the delivery page. In the delivery page, you can choose between multiple uh, customized exports. But I would like to have the control, so we're gonna choose custom export. Right up here, you can fill in your name. Let's say film, just simply type in film. And then you want to render a single clips. You want to export the video. And the format I use is QuickTime. The codec we're gonna use is H.265. So then your encoder, this means if you have a video card, please use it because your export will go way faster. In my case, that's Nvidia. And then the resolution is 308040 by 2160 and that is 4K. Perfect, my frame rate is 25, also really good. Then we go to quality. And this is not my own setting. I have this setting from Matt Johnson, his YouTube videos, and a lot of people use it. So I would definitely recommend you to use this setting as well. It's a really nice and clean image. How can you now choose the bitrate? We want to choose our bitrate by doubling our frame rate. Okay, so we um, shot our frames, we shot our film in 25 frames per second. So we're gonna double it, that will be 50. So we're gonna type in 50,000. If you shot your videos on 30 frames, you're gonna double it, that will be 60,000. If you shot it on 50 frames per second, you're gonna double that again, that will be 100,000. And for 60 frames per second, double it, and it will be 120,000. Then we go to our encoding profile, main, basically means that you're gonna export for your 8-bit footage. But I use 10-bit footage, so you want to click on main 10 for the best export for your colors. We leave the rest as it is and we go to a rate control because we're gonna change it to constant bit rate. And what does this mean? It means that DaVinci will put the maximum amount of bit rates and quality out of your video. The rest, we just leave it as it is. And then we go to color space tag and gamma tag. So everybody is color grading in a, a color space, you know, in a, in a gamma. Most of you are using Rec 709. I always leave color space tag same as project and gamma tag also same as project. But if you experience color shifting or your light is not the same in the export or when you export your film and the colors are just not the same as in the color tab from DaVinci, then you can say, okay, you know, I'm gonna hit P3 DCI and my color tag, I want to leave it on Gamma 2.4 or you're gonna export it to Rec 709. This will keep your colors consistent from what you saw while grading and what gets exported. But I leave it just same as project because I never had any problems with it. Then I always click on force sizing to the highest quality and force the bear to the highest quality to get that extra quality out of my videos. Okay, now you're done and you can add it to the render queue and you can start to render your film. Okay, step two, what if, if you want to export it to your clients and you want to get that really high quality film? The only thing that we're gonna change here is our codec. We want to change it to H.264 and why are we doing this? Probably your clients are not able to play H.265. 
encoder is NVIDIA again, a resolution 4K, 25 frames per second. Okay, now change the quality. Remember that we, our codec is H.264 and it needs more bit rate, so we want to double our bit rate for 25 frames per second. Your bit rate uh, will be 100,000. And if you shoot on 30 frames per second, it will be 120,000. And if you shot it on 50 frames per second or 60 frames per second, I would go for 150,000. So the encoding profile is main because it doesn't allow you to uh, click on main 10. And then the rate control is constant bit rate. You're gonna add it to your timeline and now you're ready to export the film for your clients. Remember that it will be a bigger size than your film for Vimeo and YouTube. Hope that you learned something today and I'm gonna check you out in my next video.